Okay, moving again, same question I'm going to pose to you. It's uh -huh. not quite the same question. It's bringing the creative class to Fort Wayne. I mean, there's plenty of creative people in Fort Wayne, and that's what uh, Lisa McGauley's involved mm -hmm. in doing, mm -hmm. is uh, stimulating local businesses to uh, develop and expand and, and uh, be able to... Um, go where no no other com or company has gone <laughs> before that sort of thing but are you, the, are you uh, slipping in a star trek oh, reference yeah. <laughs> the, go boldly it wasn't you, thank you uh, <laughs> wasn't the wasn't the ballpark essentially that idea a bold idea for downtown development that mm, may have had some problems in the way that it was or remember we were right. all excited yes. everything you know the property yeah. values were all going up uh, you know, it's interesting. I was that that project came along um, right after I left the downtown improvement district. Mm -hmm. I was there for six and a half years, and then and moved on. It was time to change the mm -hmm. guard there, mm -hmm. and um, I was on the baseball plus committee that that got the the ball rolling. Sorry, bad pun. Um, but you know, and we went through, and it was only after we got through the process we started to realize really the depth of some of the the financial quandaries that that project w had. Um, but I think that two things. One, um, it has certainly um, educated this community about the value of, of doing a project well. Mm -hmm. We had, yes, we had an existing uh, baseball stadium, but was not nearly as well used or loved by the community, mm -hmm. even in this short mm -hmm. amount of time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and it, it, it really well, a completely exposed, different concept. It, a completely different concept, but it exposed Fort Wayne, I mean, to... A, a new level of excellence, mm -hmm. I would submit, mm -hmm. in, in community mm -hmm. development. Mm -hmm. And and Fort Wayne had, I think, in many ways, we've dumbed down our standards oh, over agreed. the years. Question, no uh, question design about it. standards. And, and, and the beautiful thing about Parkview Field, beyond the fact that it's, it's a fabulous place to take your family, it's very, it's very Fort Wayne friendly. I mean, mm -hmm. family, mm -hmm. that's what we're about, and it's right in downtown, so it's a wonderful piece to downtown development. But it also raised the standard in what we will expect from community projects in the future. Right. We have seen a new level of excellence, right. and that partnered with the investments the community made in the library, in the Grand Wayne Center, and we're mm -hmm. starting to build um, that, again, that level of expectation that this community is worth that, that we, we deserve uh, public spaces that excite us, right. that, that build that sense of community. And I, in my mind, that is a turning point because so many people were vehemently opposed. I mean, and came from that very uh, conservative and very Fort Wayne perspective of, we have a ballpark, why do we need a new one? Right. And even amongst those folks, the majority of them have walked through and said, okay, I get it now. And, and I think that it will pave the way, if we're smart about it, for future projects. What is it? We've created a certain mass downtown, mm -hmm. and now it's starting to... Uh, it's the tipping uh, point. Yes, tipping, exactly. Yeah. Um, I remember driving, and I was a critic of uh, not so much the ballpark, but the way that the contract was mm -hmm. let. Yes. And I uh, felt that... Uh, it, um, and I understand Greg Leatherman's point that... Uh, you know, it was a different time, and uh, it was some things might have been overlooked, and uh, but they were going to work with mm -hmm. Hardball and Barry to make sure that it came to fruition. Whereas a lot of other people were saying, yeah. you know, t toss the baby out with the bathwater, right. or at right. least toss the bathwater out. Yes. But I remember one day driving. Um, someplace, and I heard a story about Indianapolis with a four hundred million dollar project mm -hmm. coming to fruition in their center, the center of town. And I thought, we're griping, we're gnashing teeth and beating up each other, and uh -huh. over fourteen million mm -hmm. uh, that we, like you said, mm -hmm. dumb down mm -hmm. and don't look for bigger, brighter. Um, signature mm -hmm. projects. Mm -hmm. So that's what you're suggesting is that if you're going to uh, serve as mayor, you're going to look for things that are actually a higher design quality. Absolutely. And I, I think that it is so, e it's easy to do. It's Again, it's that matter of focusing on it. Um, I look at lost opportunities and missed opportunities in this community. Uh, I think about when we redid Jefferson coming into downtown and we, we widened that road 
and we missed a chance to build a boulevard system. And there was conversation on the table at the time. Do we build, imagine coming in as you're, you're arrive, you go past the railroad o overpass and you come around and that is arguably one of the ugliest stretches of road in Fort Wayne. It's just not attractive. Mm -hmm. And it's leading into our downtown. It should mm -hmm. be, you know, a, a wonderful welcoming mat. The gateway. The gateway. Mm -hmm. And instead it's we've got a suicide lane in the middle, mm -hmm. which is certainly mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. functional, mm -hmm. but <laughs> does not do anything to increase the attractiveness <laughs> of our community. You're attributing all the accidents out there. To <laughs> this. It is a functional suicide lane. Yes. Well, if you, if you if you're going to have higher design standards, um, uh, higher quality designers, better marble is more expensive than right. What's the uh, expense? extruded yes. aluminum? And what's what's the balance in there? And I think well, there, there is a balance. That? Or do we become yeah. more creative in the way that we finance things? We we well, we become more creative in the way we design things. Mm -hmm. The uh, I you know another example is the the sound barriers that were put up around Wildwood Park and it just it's ugly. It does not look good at all and there was no attempt to investigate how that could have been made into an attraction for that part of the community rather than just a barrier. And and again there is sometimes a greater expense and sometimes not. Mm -hmm. But we have we are a city administration that is overrun with engineers and people that think very functionally. And I, I love engineers. I am married to one and my father is one, but they do not necessarily think of form. They think of function. This has been also an observation of John Shove mm -hmm. that the hierarchy, the pecking order, mm -hmm. the top of the yes. totem pole here is uh, uh, NERC. Yes. Uh, the regional coordinating council yes. that says, you know, you need, we need to put a freeway through your bedroom Yes. Uh, through your neighborhood, and then it goes to the political officials who say okay, and then goes down. The last step on the process is the uh, planner, mm -hmm. who is then told to put some flowers around it to make it look That's pretty. Right. Is that That's essentially right. what you're in saying? Invest in landscaping. Yes. Yeah. Is that essentially what essentially, you're saying? Essentially, yes. And and nowhere in that that uh, hierarchy is there somebody who considers the design impact on the community. The community psyche, if you will, is impacted by how we, we design things. And there are communities that have established themselves around that. I mean, it's why, I mean, think about the downtowns that you enjoy when you travel, and it's the places that have, have put time, attention, and resources into creating an environment. And in Fort Wayne, we haven't done that as much. I think we've started, we've started to. But we haven't made it a focus. So as mayor, you would come in and um, Pam Holliker, who's worked for... I know Pam. She worked for Bob Armstrong. She, uh, she all She's the way through all of this yes. administration. She would have uh, perhaps a little higher uh, position on the totem pole than she has currently? And her department it, has well, currently? Well, you know, I... Th I I don't know for specific city officials. What I can mm -hmm. say is that there, yeah, or department. More aesthetic. It, it's it, yes. We will pay attention to the aesthetics, and there is there's a way to blend aesthetics with function. I've often wondered if uh, if we were to design our house like Fort Wayne is, would we put the wires on the outside of the walls? Because <laughs> it'd be easy to get, easy to get to them and fix them. them and exactly, that's right. and uh, pave the living room. Yes. So that then <laughs> do do. All of that costs money, so how does, for, I guess, designing more thoughtfully mm -hmm. is, um, think it through a little more, is not necessarily more expensive, it takes more time, but it's not more